pace match in this one. Absolutely. I want to see some wrestling. Oh. There we go. Goal. There's a goal pull. Maybe goal uh, Bia saw that wrestling mm -hmm. credential <laughs> and Livy's resume. I mean, Bia does say that her style is aggressive. So, I mean, there's aggressive in the wrestling and the stand-up. It's easy to be aggressive, but being aggressive off of this back position from the guard, you know, it's, it's, it's more difficult to do, but if you do do it, it is really, really exciting. Yeah. She's got to watch for uh, Libby taking that body lock position from the closed guard. That's going to take uh, a lot of the ability to be aggressive. I mean, so far, I can't quite see what B is doing here. She's grabbing both grabbing of the knees. legs. It's mm. I guess she's trying to keep the posture down, but then she's not doing uh, much with it. I mean, this is interesting. I've not, I don't think I've seen... No. This sort of thing before, have you? No, it's unusual. Be looking to get up to a sitting position. Maybe, maybe has to be very careful of a uh, hip bump sweep as she allows that to happen again. Now this body lock works great from uh, half guard. Works great from butterfly guard, from close guard. You know the, the the body lock position that we see here. You know there are some passes you can do from close guard, but we're seeing it so so common in high level grappling at the moment to pass open guard and butterfly guard and stuff like that, and that's because. It allows you to, to get super tight to the body and then you just pummel with the legs. But mm -hmm. obviously from close guard, you, you, you're completely unable to do that. She goes to stand again with these uh, hands towards the armpits. Now, if is aggressive as she says she is, you know, this is where it's time to open up and start looking for attacks from this guard position, you know. Mm -hmm. Libby really gi giving her some options to, to open those legs. And I think that's a lot of what the, the this closed guard position is about. It's about sussing out how your opponent wants to fight. Libby does a great job of getting that knee on the inside. And I don't think she's going to she's gonna try anyway to stop Beer from getting back to that closed guard. Yeah, she's passed straight towards the uh, north-south position. I mean, a great pass, yeah, absolutely, straight to north-south. And, you know, you could see from the way that she was taking body locks from that closed guard position, you could kind of tell she likes this tight. I mean, I'm looking at, at this sheet that we have with, with, with the profiles on. She says heavy pressure passing. I think okay. we're starting to see that. She's got that wrestling pedigree absolutely. as well. And, yeah, you, you know, can see like almost the pin kind of uh, absolutely, structure, yeah. right? It's like a body lock position from uh, north-south there. And, yeah. you know, Bia looking to work those legs back to the inside and just a beautiful back step from Libby to pass back through to North South here and North South is it, it's a strong position I almost feel like it's underutilized sometimes yeah. you know, your ability to open up attacks on the upper body is is, is actually really high Kimuras and sit through to arm bars and stuff like that beautiful movement by Beer and a rolling back take attempt there from yeah. Libby and Beer just punishes her for it ends up in the top <laughs> half guard and Loads and loads of shoulder pressure here. She's really turning that face away. She was like, uh, you think that you, you've got that pressure? Well, I've got that <laughs> pressure as well. <laughs> yeah, and I think that's going to be the game plan here. I think uh, keep that heavy, that heavy shoulder pressure in the face and try and work that left leg out of the legs, pass straight into the mount position. And we've got to say, so far, no submission attempts done. No. But already, you know, we're... we're yeah, four and a half minutes in. Mm -hmm. We've seen quite a bit of action from both of these girls. Libby's slowly trying to get this frame inside so that she can bridge up and start turning her head back in. And that's really what's going to allow her to get some space and start to escape. Yeah, I mean, if you were underneath that sh shoulder pressure, you'd be wanting to get your frames in as uh -huh. well. I mean, it looks like she's trying to, to, to use that left arm as an underhook on the... Uh, get a deep half oh position God. and maybe sweep from here. I mean, the position looks pretty good. Deep half is all about getting deep enough under your opponent where you kind of bear all of their weight and makes it very, very easy to sweep. Ms. Be uh, Beer just, you know, straightened up her leg, made that hip really heavy, and it just made it really difficult for then Libby to get underneath. Yeah, Libby needs to be careful here of a possible back take. You know, that back is exposed, and Beer might be looking for a gift wrap. She's going to try and take that. Or if I was in this position, I'd be looking to use my body to force that left arm of Libby mm. across take a gift wrap there but Libby once again trying to utilize that deep half guard position and 
I, I feel like she's she's got some good threats on these possible on this possible deep half guard. You can see the way that B is reacting to it. Oh yeah, plenty of time to work. Uh, absolutely right. Some advice from the audience there. Five <laughs> minutes. And Bia looks like she's about to attack a far side. Uh, looked like maybe she was going to try and go for a far side armbar there. Still very, very heavy pressure. And look how she's trying to use those hands connected, get as much leverage as possible to raise the, the right arm of Libby up above her head. And that means that if she does pass directly into mount, she's going to be in a stronger, more stable position. If you allow that arm to stay low, then the, the half guard regain is a lot easier. Oh, she, 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 she's looking at that far side leg, isn't she? I'm thinking maybe a, a knee bar attempt here. Just over four minutes left in this match. Ooh. And so far... Oh, a nasty <laughs> position here from that half guard, okay. almost like a like a lockdown. This is some tenth planet stuff we're seeing yeah. here. She's very, very stretched now, isn't she? <laughs> I feel like some people would tap from here, right? <laughs> Those knees played out. Oh yeah, I'd be tapping. <laughs> would I'd you? Be ta yeah. Oh, I'd be tapping. <laughs> I thought there. so. Well, you would not get my knees that far from <laughs> each other. Be uh, taking the opportunity. There must be a cut somewhere. Looking like a little bit of blood above the, the, the brow yeah. of, of, of Bia Fernandez. She's in a nice position here on this leg lock. Possibly going to sit backwards for a knee bar here, or possibly sit through and get a leg entanglement for a for a heel hook position. But this is going to be massive for this match because so far we haven't seen any submission attempts really at all that I can think of. No. Nope. Um, so if there's a deep submission attempt here, then she's going to be putting that up uh, at that significant note on the judges' scorecard. Used to work on uh, on unlocking these legs there. She's kind of tugging on this um, uh, on the knee here, but she's not going to get quite the leverage to to go for a knee bar. Do you think maybe using one of those off hands? You know, she's controlling with the right arm. Maybe even using that left arm mm -hmm. to to pull up on the foot of uh, uh, the left foot of Libby there to try and unlock those legs because Libby knows exactly how much danger that that right leg is in, and yeah, you know, she's not going to be releasing that. Libby's still going for some of this crazy uh, kind of deep half position here. And she manages to get on top oh. with it. But there's, you know, for a split second, a knee bar there. And I wouldn't even count that as a submission no. attempt. Libby doing everything that she needs to do to stay out of it. But slowly getting sucked in like quicksand into this leg entanglement. Mm -hmm. And Libby herself not really in a position to, to attack back from here. And I mean, at this point, I think we can class this as, especially if... See how Libby's grabbing onto that right arm of Bia mm -hmm. to try and stop her from connecting the hands. And here we go. And she's really pulling mm -hmm. backwards here. And you actually have to be careful, I think, with this rule set about overselling the defense, you know? <laughs> Facial expression, right? <laughs> we both think of the same thing. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, this is interesting, actually. You, you know, Bia got very, very close to what I would consider a close submission attempt, but I don't feel like she really executed it. No. Libby was able to escape that position and looked like she was going to stabilize side control, but finds herself in this really awkward position. I mean, we saw this in one of the matches earlier and uh, uh, sort of a stalemate happened from here for a really long period of time. Yeah. I mean, this is what you want to be doing. And we were talking about this, using those legs to pummel and open up the opponent's legs and drive backwards. I mean, one minute 40 in this match, you, you've got to think that I mean, you've got to think the beer probably up now, maybe even on that shallow footlock attempt, mm -hmm. it was. She needed a bit more hip extension on it. That was the uh, thing that maybe would have swayed it for me. I mean, I guess what we have to say is one of the defining factors of a deep submission attempt is did the opponent have to actively defend mm -hmm. it? And Libby was definitely she did have to actively, actively defend, defend it. it. Yeah. And her face did tell us. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was painful. A, it told a story, <laughs> didn't it? And it looked like for a second there she was going to get a nice guard pass and then almost stalled and moved backwards for a second. I think maybe her leg was in an awkward spot and she had to, to give up some space. But oh, a beautiful uh, entry there to try and pass the guard. But Beer's open guard is, is, is just really, really tricky to pass by the looks of it. And mm. I do feel like Libby's going to need to to get a relatively decent submission attempt on the board. I might be wrong. I'm not a judge. That's not our job. We've got three very qualified judges down there to decide the outcome of these matches if they do go to a decision. But, but you've got to think... 30 seconds left now. Especially if if Beer is able to get any extension on this leg here, you've got to think that it's going to sway in her favour. Mm -hmm.
not really able to turn it into anything that can be considered a submission attempt. But there's still time, 15 seconds left. Lots of encouragement from the crowd here with three seconds to go. And that is time, and it is going to go to a decision. You know, it really comes down to the legitimacy of some of those leg lock attempts by Dia Fernandez. For my money, with this rule set, that's the direction that I'd go. You can see some replays here. You know, we had some nice transitions, especially in Libby's position. Really, really, nice. really great, but yeah. was not able to get any submission attempts off there. And this was that lovely guard pass. Straight into north-south. Great movement, and this was a very, I mean, this could have, that was a very, very important moment in the match. Yeah. Uh, rolling back, take attempt there by Libby. Yeah. I mean, unable to execute here. Let's go down to the decision. Yeah. And so, ladies and gentlemen, your winner by judge's decision is...